everybody, it's Bunny. Isn't it a shame nobody does hair of the day videos on YouTube? Because I kind of feel like today would qualify me for hair of the day. Even though I can't ever explain how I do anything in life. Because I don't even know how, how did this happen? I don't know. I don't know. I think my hair came out pretty good, like minus this bobby pin that's now making itself known in the world. I don't know, I did this kind of... It almost looks like a, a hair-a-copia, you know, like a, like a cornucopia, but made out of hair. I don't know, I kind of wanted to go with like a 40s type vibe today. I don't really know if I captured that. Um, but yeah, so that's why I, I drew on my little beauty mark right here, which may or may not even be dark enough to see. I don't know, I did it with like a little brown eyeliner pencil. Feel free to make fun of me for that. Um, I just, I felt like doing it. I actually have like a freckle there and then I was like, oh, let's just, let's just make that darker. Let's just get out our Sharpie and draw that on. Any of y'all remember like in the early, early 2000s when like the whole beauty mark fad came back into style and they actually made these little booklets, little like stickers that were like stick on beauty marks. Um, so I was that girl with the uh, beauty mark sticker book in my locker, um, just sticking a beauty mark on my face. Um, so you can just totally visualize how completely popular I must have been. I was like, you guys need a spare beauty mark? Because I got one right here in my beauty mark. Stick on sticker Lisa Frank edition. Oh my god, Lisa Frank edition would be so awesome. Like, just stick a little golden retriever puppy on your face. Be like, no, it's a beauty mark. I was, I was born with this puppy on my face. It happened one day. But it does look kind of flat on this side, huh? I don't know. Is that, is that how it happens in the 40s? Did everyone have just, like, fantastic hair on one side and then it looked like a small elephant child sat on the other side? I don't know. How was y'all's weekends? I just got an email. Today I'm doing another shoe unboxing video as foretold on Facebook earlier this afternoon. This is a brand of shoe that I've never really heard of. Maybe I have and then I forgot about it. I don't know. You guys tell me if it's like really relevant and I just don't know what's going on in the world. The shoes are by Michael Antonio Studio. Uh, I got these off of Nasty Gal. I've been looking at them for a long time actually and they sold out once and then got like a big reshipment in because they got that little label and it's like we're back. So I was like okay. I'll just show you guys. Uh, they came really really nicely wrapped up and the other cool thing is is right on top you get a little baggy to kind of like put them in. You know, it's kind of like if you buy a really nice handbag, it comes with a dust jacket. So what these are are platform booties and they came really nicely wrapped. Um, they even had like some paper and styrofoam shoved into the top of them. Um, but I kind of like took them out because I had to try them on. Okay, um, here's the thing that's driving me crazy all of a sudden with online shoe shopping things. And I don't really think it's like the vendor's fault, or maybe, maybe vendor is the word I'm looking for. Like, I don't think it's like nasty gal's fault. Like, I don't think that they're purposefully like, just like putting stuff out there. But I think it may be like these people that they get these shoes from, like the distributor, is telling them that these run true to size. Once again, that's like horribly falsified information. <laughs> These don't run true to size. Because normally I'm like a seven and a half. Like I'm a seven and a half like in every like Jeffrey Campbell style. And you know, I'm generally a seven and a half. Like if I go to the mall, I'm like a seven and a half in like all universal brands. Um, so it said runs true to size. Um, no. No it doesn't. Uh, seven and a half was way too big. I'm sure y'all are like, why don't you take this tissue paper off these buckles? Let me do that for you. So this style is called the Mercer Wedge. And I think also I was a little like taken in by the name of the shoe when I kept looking at it because Mercer House is a historical home in Savannah, Georgia, which is like my home away from home. So I was like, oh, the Mercer Wedge. Well, we got to just be putting that on our feet, even though people in Savannah don't talk like that. I'm sorry, I'm from the swamp, I can't help it. Swamp talk. I feel like I'm jumping around today. I'm so disorganized. I kind of had a weird weekend. Weird. Like I'm kind of like trying to just 
get it all together. Fight the sadness, our text. I felt like today was a really redeeming day though. I tried on a lot of like Ralph Lauren and like listened to Sting and I was like, oh my God. I've hit middle age, it's awesome. I'll just show you the shoe first. I'm just gonna like, beat myself in the face with these shoes. I measured them with my friend yesterday when they came in the mail. I don't remember if they're seven or seven and a half inch platforms, but these are really, really high heeled platform shoes. They have this little interesting plastic part in them, you know, so it's not just like all solid leather. I think that these may be synthetic leather as well, because they were only a hundred bucks, which is, probably the cheapest not on sale shoe that you can obtain from Nasty Gal. I really liked all the buckled style. Buckled style is not like a style, but I liked all the buckles on them. And they're really easy to get into because like zipper closure. They're pretty easy to walk in. I just put them on for like 2.5 seconds yesterday to make sure that they would actually stay on my feet. I thought that these were really kind of like new goth looking. That's like my main style is new goth. So I thought these really looked new goth style and would look really awesome with the asymmetrical or waterfall style skirt. The biggest thing I think is the problem with the size being true to size is the fact that I guess maybe a lot of people like like a little bit of wiggle room or even just like a little bit of room in their shoes, you know, so that's why they're like, oh, you know, maybe that's why they tell people that they're true to size. I don't like my shoe to like pop up at all when I take a step that just drives me crazy. Er, it's absolutely impossible to walk in these shoes if they're not the correct size because this heel with the plastic is super duper ridiculously heavy. This shoe weighs like I think when I sent it back, the post office told me that they weigh like eight pounds, both shoes together. I am kind of finding that hard to believe though because I don't really believe that this is four pounds. I don't know. We, we'd have to like bust out a science scale. Science. So maybe it was like, you know, the box and everything was eight pounds, but these are pretty heavy. Like you could definitely kick someone in the face with these and do some damage. So I might just wear those little like footy socks for some extra um, tightness in these shoes because believe it or not, even exchanging the seven and a half and getting a seven, these are still pretty wiggly. That just sounds disturbing. That being said, like, honestly, I think that you would be just fine if you ordered half a size smaller than you normally buy. I think this will be like a good staple piece because I really like high platform heels, but I also don't like to fall and embarrass myself in public. Um, and these are really steady, really easy to walk in. So once again, these are a hundred bucks and I got them on Nasty Gal. For you guys' convenience, I'm gonna put the link to purchase these shoes in the info box. Once again, unfortunately, I'm not affiliated with Nasty Gal in any way. They're not paying me. I wasn't given these. Actually, the dress I'm wearing right now is also from Nasty Gal. Um, I love that website. It's like my most frequently shopped on website. So I'm gonna put these on really quick and do kind of a little walk around and my little jump thing that's like the signature of my shoe trying on videos. I know one day I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna fall and I swear if I fall I will put the clip in here just because I want you all to laugh at me. Just point and laugh um, if you're not already doing that right now. As usual, please take a moment to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think, let me know what you did this weekend, let me know if you had a weird weekend, or if you were just like chilling like a villain. Also let me know if you watched Axemen tonight, because I'm so happy that that show is back on, because I feel at home, because there's another, there's another swamp personages, pers person, person singular, um, on the TV. Do y'all, do y'all love Shelby? Y'all love Shelby Stanga? Because, because I do. I do. I do. Um, that was totally off topic. Um, also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can tweet to me, which is so awesome. Um, I was kind of like falling, falling down on my Twitter job this weekend. I didn't get anything productive done. Um, but 
normally I reply back like quick as lightning. Um, so you can tweet me at Graveyard Girl. And I will see you guys later. Bye. <sighs> That's such a creepy laugh. I sound like an old hag. <sighs> <laughs> I wish I was an old hag. Speaking of old hag, I saw an old hag walking around today. Well, she's probably not a hag because she looks like a classy lady, but she was in like a red like caftan. It was just, God, I want a caftan so bad. I just, can we marinate on that for a minute? I really need a caftan because it was just like this majestic red caftan and she had on those like Star Trek sized, uh, sunglasses, like wrap around. And she was like walking like this dog that was like the size of like I don't know, a table salt shaker, a little bit of dog, huge caftan, but she just looks majestic because she was just like floating down the street in this like red majestic caftan. And I was like, God, I want to be that lady. And she also had gray hair and I just really wish that I had gray hair. I really wish that I had gray hair. Who can make that happy for me? <laughs> Who can make that happen for me? Who can make that happen for me? I would be so jazzed. So jazz, jazz hands, jazz hands. That's how jazzed I would be. None of these things is part of the video. None of these things just quite belong. I just, I wish I could get away with talking like that all the time. I'd be like, I was on the swamp. Okay, that's how we do it on the swamp. That's how we talk. That's how we talk right here all the time. God, some people just don't understand who aren't on the swamp, raised in the swamp. They don't get it, okay? Okay. I need to like film my hair for a little while because I've tried to take like 50 good photos of my hair. Maybe it just looks bad. Maybe that's, maybe that's why it doesn't photograph good. You know those days when you try and take like 800 photos and all 800 make you look like a, like a dead, stupid, broken neck deer? Because that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm just like, eh, like in every photo, every photo. I like this though. I really like my, my hair-a-copia. I would like to preserve it in a photograph that I am unable of capturing. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Oh, I look like a stupid bird right there. Especially when I open my mouth. Stupid bird mouth.